Hello. So today in this video, I will discuss about box model in HTML using the CSS. Actually, box model is again very very important for the designing of the web page. You can see again that this exam pictures. In these pictures, there are the two layout. One is the dotted layout. Is that the dotted layout which is again the complete screen? Okay. Inside that one, you are adjusting the some page. As a some content inside the again the box, you see again the below again the image some sentence is there inside the box only. Okay, so that is called again the box model. So box model some terminology is there that we should know. First of all, any box model border is there. First thing is the border. You can display the border. Then again the box model again the next part is there the background color, background color other by background image. Next thing is again the height and the width of the border. How much height you want? How much width you want? Right? Then next part is there again called the padding. Padding. Whenever you are displaying some sentence, so that sentence where it is situated in your box that is called the padding. And the one more thing is there called margin. Okay. Margin again. If you are telling so that means all margin. That means left, right, top, bottom. All margin we can consider. So these are the components is important for the box models. So we'll see again all. So first thing again the background color, the background image, how you can fill inside the box. So for that purpose, some properties are there. First thing is called the background. First thing is called the background property. So background is nothing. This is a combined sort and property that allow you to set the background values in one property. While we can omit properties with the shorthand, do remember that any omitted properties you will be set to get the default value. Okay, so under the background one is there again the background image, background color, these two are the very very important again. Background color, background image and one more thing is called the background repeat. So whatever the again the image, background have an image, whatever the image you are adding that you can and with the help of the background repeat, either you can put the no repeat, otherwise based upon the axis, uh, x axis, y axis, you can adjust the again the image also. Okay. And background color is again, of course, only the color. Next thing is the background position. You can again the manage in the horizontal, vertical, and other way. Another thing is the background attachments. You can image scrolling with the documents we can fix in the background. And another thing is again the background size that we can again adjust with the help of the uh, background properties in box model you see here again the background so here again the background one background color is coming for the red uh, otherwise you, background color is again you can see here again the one background is the black image is there okay any kind of the image you can put it so here background hyphen image the properties is the background hyphen image colon url url then we have to give the url of your again the image file so here again the dot dot slash image folder backgrounds and then background hyphen title dot gf we add it okay so this is again the first property background image colon url and then you can give the url of your background image then along with that one another thing is called the background hyphen repeat another property so whatever the image if you are telling suppose that that image is not complete not fit for your complete script then we have to set for the background hyphen repeat colon by colon repeat so first symbol you see complete screen is coming the black so there they put for the whatever the image is the image is small so remaining again repeated and they fill that image okay so that is the one thing same way background hyphen repeat colon no repeat is there no hyphen repeat this is again very popular one no hyphen repeat so based upon your image size they will coming in the one corner left corner of your screen that is the another one another is called same value background hyphen repeat colon repeat hyphen y so y axis 
वाई एस डेट मीन्स वर्टिकली ओनली दे विल एडजस्ट योर सेम पे रिपीट है ऑरिजेंटली दे विल एडजस्ट योर इमेज इन द टॉप साइड एंड वाई एक्स इज रिपीट है वाई ऑल्सो फ्रॉम द लेफ्ट साइड वाली अनदर थिंग इज द बैकग्राउंड पोजिशन so so in background position whatever the image if you are displaying that image you can adjust with the help of the background hyphen position so there are the two value length at the first first part is called again the left side so left side is the 300 and then another is called the top top means the top value so background position column 300 px Then space 50 px. So 300 px from the left side and 50 px again from the top sides. You can adjust the background image with the help of the background position properties in the CSS. The next thing is important point is the border. So border is again the solid border, dotted border. Is there? So border again. There are the properties are there. Border, border hyphen style. Border hyphen width, border hyphen color, border hyphen radius, and the border hyphen image. So there are the five, six types of the borders are there. Uh, border properties are there. Border, border style, border width, border color, border radius, and border image. So border, border means again here. Border style, which kind of the border you want? Generally, solid border, dotted border, dash border, double, group. This inset and outset. These are the most popular border style is available in the CSS. So that we have to specify under the border hyphen style. Another is the width. That means the thickness of the border. How much thickness if you want that border? That again value in the terms of the px we have to specify. Another keyword is there for the border width. Either the thin, either the medium. You can also specify. Then the border hyphen color. Which color of the border you want? So that either in the terms of the hexadecimal value, other by exact name of the color you can give. Then the border radius. Border radius is again one of the popular for designing of the table, other by in the box model also. So rounded, rounded corner will come with the help of the border hyphen radius. And the border hyphen image at the place of the border, you can use the image also. But that image in the terms of the URL. You see in this here again. Very simple example. Margin and the uh, one more thing is there the padding and the margin. So margin again from left side, right side, top side, and the bottom side. Okay, and the padding is again inside that box. The your content is how much away from the top, bottom, left, right. That is called the padding. Again. You see in the first example here, border is the solid. Means the border is solid. Means here border type solid one pt. This also is possible. You can write border colon together. You can write the three things. So first thing is the border type. Second one is the border size. Then another is the border have one color. So three things also you can put in the together. So border column. Then no need to write again the separate separate border column. You can put first with the border type solid border one pt. That is the thickness and again the color red color. This is again the standard format to writing the border also. Again the you cannot write the separate separate. Okay, that is again easy for the developer to uh, single line only we can specify the all. Here margin is zero and padding is the zero. So you see here again the red color border is coming, solid is coming. One pt in the first example. Second example, you see, margin is the 30 px and padding is still zero. Margin is the 30 px, but padding is the zero. So three boxes, you see, three boxes, all three boxes from the left side, top side, bottom side, and the right side. Some space is there. That is called the margin. So once you are giving the margin 30 px, that means all four corners again need to adjust. A standard format is there. First value is the left, second value is the top, then right, then bottom. Okay. But still, padding is the zero. Coming to the next one, next you see again, padding is the 30 px. So what happened? So border is again there, but inside the box again, whatever the statement is there, that sentence is again that they have some space from the top, bottom, right, and the uh, top, bottom, right, and the left. Okay. So that is the happening due to the padding. So padding is inside the any box. Margin is margin is again from the your web page. You are again the complete screen one. 
okay that is the difference between the margin and the padding padding you can apply inside the box another thing is the padding you can apply inside the table also that is the difference between the margin and padding so this is the enough so next class again we'll discuss about the next part of your video thanks for your patience